Hello and welcome back to Gums Tech Talk channel. In this video, we are going to see what are the Dynamics 365 release plans for this particular year. That is February 2024, March 2024, and upcoming uh, release plans in Microsoft Dynamics 365. So basically it is uh, categorized into these things like user experience legislation governance and administration development application country and regional co-pilot and AI innovation reporting and data analysis and adapt faster with the power platform so before i further talk about these updates this is my channel uh gomes tech talks channel if you haven't subscribed it please go and subscribe now and here you can find the playlist which will be very important and useful for you which is bc technical bc tutorial technical consultant so this is one where i'll be updating all the information regarding to business central and this is for technical consultant or the developers and uh, you can see another important uh, playlist which is for functional consultant this is bc functional consultant mastering essential and this is 21 days coding challenge on al programming and uh, from tomorrow i'll be updating this 41 days functional consultant bootcamp from tomorrow members of my channel can easily view this and uh, other than members subscribers and viewers can watch this from february one and this is my um, link top mid link if you have any queries regarding um, your interview preparation tips mock if you want me to conduct your mock interview if you want to resume uh, review your resume if you need any career guidance if you are need a one is to one mentorship if you have any questions if you oh, if you have any queries please don't hesitate to schedule a call with me i'll be there to help you out so let us go back to the today's topic what we wanted to see is what the release plan for dynamics 365 business central so the first one is the user experience uh, user experience so what is this user experience is all about is what um the new release introduces enhancements that make business central more intuitive and user friendly under that section if you just click it you can see they are planning to that you can access worksheet pages from mobile phones so this is the one and you can find more information here when the general availability is okay like uh, february 24 you can see and the public preview is from jan 2024 so you can see here this is 2024 release wave one okay and what are the enabled edition enabled for whom everything you can see here and if you just scroll down you can see share error details to get help from another users this is an another important update so this they are planning from march 2024 the general availability will be from april 2024 so what is this all about is what just if you click here you can see if you have any error you can just share it with your team members or through the outlook and share it with them to know what is the error is if you want to know about it okay so this is what sharing the errors so you can see various screenshots you can just click here to see various screenshots here and the next one is use actions to navigate and highlight um, or fix platform generated errors so here you can see that it is easy for you to help what is going wrong so this is very important like you can navigate what is the wrong in this uh, so this is residual gain account must have a value in currency code AUD. It cannot be zero or empty. If you have missed it zero or empty, it will show you what is the error. Okay. And then use drag and drop to attach multiple files. You can just drag and drop if you want to attach multiple files. So these are all planned on April 2024, which is user experience. Next to talk about legislation, achieve sustainable compliance with business central. So this, if you want to collect... <coughs> and report your sustainable activities okay so this solution uh, will be uh, based on european union's corporate sustainability reporting directive and other esg standard okay so here you can find the sustainability reports next one is automatic country automate country of region listed for item tracking code in intraset reporting so this is another feature they are updating under legislation and see VAT date and posting reviews you can also see the VAT dates in the posting reviews next to talk about the governance and administrator so you have all these things which are coming up like control partner access pair environment transfer environment between microsoft intra tenants 
improved update release process use linked environment database integration so for all these days wherever wherever image are possible they they be update, updating the image allow customers to consent to some microsoft support accessing their data audit business central operation in microsoft purview encrypt data addressed link business central environments to power platform uh, environment so you can link a uh, business central environment to power platform environment next one is development what are the things which are under development as app source isv publisher can preview their app source apps with the selected customer so here you can see how to preview it okay so this is how possible handle multiple files upload and file drops zone debug the system application this is also possible remove frictions uh, when working with external app dependencies next is up for application so these are our plan between um 2024 to march to april 2024 okay so public preview will be on march 2024 so under application there are a lot and lot of things which you have like archive products projects like how you can achieve the projects you can you can see here how can you do that in this particular uh, thing assemble to project connect business central with shopify b2b this is very important one you can connect business central to shopify so invoice define default location for the project get more productive while entering timesheets invoice of a customer simpler shopify connection usability improves use currencies when posting use deferral codes use standard terminology set up financial cons uh, consolidation runs more e efficiently use new excel layouts for 35 selected reports you can use new excel layout then country and regional um automate irs 1099 form submission in us enable additional countries and region and install uk uh, local location localizations as an app so this particular these two things are uh, possible from june 2024 okay the next one is a copilot this is very very important so chat with copilot you can chat with copilot uh, from february 2024 this is an exciting news for all of us okay <clears throat> so the second one is what complete blank bank uh, sees this is how you can chat you have a copilot enabled on the right side stay tuned with me i'll be updating all these things next one is complete bank account reconciliation faster with the copilot you can do it extend copilot with using richer development tools get insights with copilot generated analysis tab introduce power automate copilot integration with the business central this is of course an, another important thing which we should uh, learn about learn more about uh, fields in the copilot map e documents to purchase create product information faster with the copilot and finally create sales lines easily with the copilot okay and um, next one is reporting and data analysis what are the key things which we have in reporting discover report and data analysis constant uh, content easily finally adapt faster with the power platform this is these are all very important updates which are planned for the future you can see everything here okay and try now what are the things which you can try immediately they have also told this is already there it was released in 2023 okay stay tuned with me um through gomes tech talks channel i'll be updating everything um ev like then and there okay so you can see that we will meet, i'll meet you soon with another exciting video and if you want to connect with me you have you can schedule a call with me thank you take care bye